Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Woman Twit Two here again, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to properly perform the swap trick on your Sega Saturn. Now, the reason I say properly is because uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that show you how to perform the swap trick, um, and they do work, but you have to be really precise when you do it, and you have to be really fast, and it's not very easy to do. And it also uh, it, it causes damage to the uh, the spindle on your uh, Sega Saturn CD drive over time. So with this method I'm going to show you um, it's actually easier to perform. You don't have to be as fast when you swap this and um, it's not going to cause near as much damage to your spindle um, when you swap. Now that being said a mod chip is best if you want to play backups on your Saturn because you don't have to swap and you won't be, you won't be damaging your CD spindle but in a pinch this will work. So um, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Treyu187 uh, at the uh, isozone.com. Uh, this is 100% not my stuff. Uh, he made this. He made an original video. Uh, he came up with this. Um, and in the, in his video, he doesn't explain it. It just kind of demonstrates. So um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna explain what uh, he's doing in the video, and I'll post a, a link to the original video in the description. Uh, but what this video is going to be is just me explaining, you know, uh, explaining better how to do it. So um, before you uh, uh, even get started, you need to take uh, all five screws, all five case screws out of your out of the bottom of your Saturn, and you need to lift the case off like so. And you need to uh, focus your attention here to the lid switch. And you need a piece of tape. I'm just going to use electrical tape here and uh, you just need to tape the lid switch closed pretty much. You just need to make it, have it make contact and push it up to where it makes contact and just kind of wrap that tape around it like that. Just so uh, the, the system will think that the lid is closed all the time. So I'm gonna put the lid back on. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, um, I'm going to go ahead and perform the swap trick for you to kind of show you uh, how it works and then um, I'm going to do it again with the lid off and I want to get a close-up view of the laser uh, the laser assembly and uh, I'm going to perform the swap trick again and I'm going to show you the position of the laser in relation to um, when I'm swapping the discs to uh, kind of give you a better idea of uh, when you need to swap them. So uh, you're going to need a burn game and you're going to need an original game. Um, this is a stall and uh, a thing you need to uh, take note of is the burn game needs to match the same region as your or original game. So uh, if you live in the United States or Canada and you want to play an NTSC game, uh, an NTSC burn game, you need an NTSC original game. If you want to play a backup, like if I wanted to play a Japanese game that was only released in Japan, I would need to uh, take that image on my computer and patch it to uh, NTSC U so that it would run on my uh, American Saturn. Um, and I, I will, I'll put a link in the description of where you can download that program. It's very easy to do to patch games. So uh, if you, if you want to do that, you don't need like an action replay cart. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put um, the bird game in the Saturn first and I'm going to power the Saturn on and uh, what it's going to do is it's going to read like the table of contents on the our, on our burn game and then it's going to go check for the security ring but uh, of course our burn game doesn't have a security ring so that's why we need an original so when it checks for that security ring we're going to swap the disc out with our original so it can read the security ring and then we're going to reset it and then we'll swap the disc back in with our burn game and it'll play it so I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's done. Uh, I'm going to put our burn, dink, our burn game in first. We're going to power the system on. And when the CD spins down, we're going to switch it. Like that. Switch it with our original. And when the Sega license logo comes up, we're going to reset it. And when the CD spins back up, we're going to switch it again. Mm -hmm. 
and the Sega license logo comes back up again and then it'll read our burn game. Just like so. So uh, as you can tell, if you've watched any other swap tricks on YouTube, this one is way easier and uh, it reads it just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and perform this again with the lid off. And here I'm gonna do it again. So again, we're gonna put our burn CD in, power it on. All right, so the seats spin, spin down, put our original in. When the Sega license logo comes up, we're going to reset it. And when the CD spins back up, we're going to swell it again. And the license logo comes back up one more time. And our burn game plays. Uh, so that's that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, it's 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 pretty easy once you get the hang of it. You might have to do it a couple times to kind of familiarize yourself with it. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, it's very easy to do. So that's it, guys. Uh, again, this is really easy to perform if you know how to do it. So uh, everyone, say thanks to Atreyu187 of the IceZone.com for figuring this out. It's a super cool guy. He's he's uh, really helpful. He's a really nice guy. So. Um, Go check out his video that's in the description. That's the original one. And uh, again, I just want to say thanks to him for you know showing everybody how to do it the easy way. So I'll see you guys next time.